Hello and welcome, viewers. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the world of communication styles. This course, Communication Styles, Passive, Assertive, Aggressive, is proudly presented by Flipped Academy. Throughout this course, we will delve deep into the three main communication styles, passive, assertive, and aggressive. By the end of this journey, you'll gain valuable insights into effective communication and how to navigate various social situations. So, without further ado, let's get started. On slide 2, we have our goals for today. Our objectives in this course are crystal clear. We'll aim to understand the different communication styles and how they impact those around us. Recognizing these styles is the first step towards more effective communication. We'll engage in practical exercises to help us recognize and create messages using various communication styles. Hands-on experience is the key to mastering these skills. Lastly, we'll delve into assertiveness skills, a critical aspect of communication that empowers us to express our thoughts and feelings confidently while respecting the rights of others. These goals will guide us as we explore the world of communication styles in the upcoming sessions. On slide 3, we ask a question that many of us can relate to. Have you ever dealt with a difficult person? To help illustrate this point, take a look at the image displayed. You can see two cartoon faces. One of them has a white background, and the other has a red background. This simple image symbolizes a common scenario in our daily lives, interactions with others. Sometimes, these interactions can be challenging, and understanding communication styles can make a world of difference in such situations. In this course, we'll equip you with the knowledge and skills to handle these interactions effectively, regardless of whether you're dealing with someone who communicates passively, assertively, or aggressively. Let's explore how to navigate these encounters successfully. Slide 4 reminds us that it's all about respect. In the realm of communication styles, respect plays a pivotal role. Let's break it down. Passive communication, represented by the unhappy emoji face, often involves a lack of respect for oneself. In passive situations, individuals may struggle to express their needs and feelings, leading to unhappiness and frustration. Assertive communication, symbolized by the smiling emoji face, is the sweet spot. It emphasizes respect for both oneself and others. It allows for open, honest, and respectful exchanges, creating positive and constructive interactions. Aggressive communication, illustrated by the disapproving emoji face, typically disregards the feelings and rights of others. It can lead to conflict and tension, eroding relationships. Understanding these distinctions will empower you to choose the most effective communication style in different situations. Remember, it's not just about what you say, it's also about how you say it and the respect you convey. On slide 5, we confront a common issue, how about? Can't speak up. Many people find themselves in situations where they struggle to express their thoughts, needs, or opinions. This difficulty can stem from various factors, including fear of conflict, lack of confidence, or a passive communication style. On slide 6, we present a communication styles comparison table to visually illustrate the distinctions between the three main communication styles, passive, assertive, and aggressive. In the passive column, we place can't speak up as a characteristic of passive communication. On slide 7, let's examine the characteristic loud. This trait often aligns with the aggressive communication style. Being loud in your communication can make others feel uncomfortable and overpowered. It's important to remember that communication should be respectful and considerate of others' comfort zones. Moving to slide 8, we continue our communication styles comparison table. Here, we reiterate that loud communication is often associated with the aggressive style. Recognizing the aggressive style and its various traits, including being loud, is a crucial step in improving our communication skills. On slide 9, 
Let's explore the characteristic firm. This trait aligns with the assertive communication style. Being firm in your communication means expressing yourself confidently, clearly, and respectfully. It involves setting boundaries, making your needs and opinions known, and standing up for yourself and others when necessary. As we continue our communication styles comparison table, here, we emphasize that firm communication is a characteristic of the assertive style. Assertive communication, as we've discussed, involves respecting both yourself and others. Being firm is an essential aspect of assertiveness, allowing you to communicate your needs and boundaries clearly while also acknowledging and respecting the rights and feelings of those you interact with. On slide 11, we address the characteristic, don't know my rights. This trait aligns with a passive communication style. When someone is unaware of their rights or does not assert them, they may often yield to others or fail to advocate for themselves effectively. Now, on slide 12, we continue our communication styles comparison table. Here, we emphasize that don't know my rights is a characteristic of the passive style. Passive communication often involves a reluctance to assert one's own needs or rights due to a lack of awareness or confidence. By identifying this trait and learning to assert oneself more effectively, we can enhance our communication skills and advocate for our rights more confidently. Here we explore the characteristic, direct. This trait aligns with the, assertive, communication style. Being direct in your communication means expressing your thoughts, needs, and expectations clearly and without ambiguity. It's a hallmark of assertive communication, as it helps ensure that your message is understood and respected. Here, we emphasize that direct communication is a characteristic of the assertive style. Assertive communication encourages directness as a means of clear expression. It allows individuals to convey their thoughts and feelings without resorting to aggression or passivity. Developing the ability to be direct in a respectful manner is one of the key skills. On slide 15, we address the characteristic, bossy. This trait often aligns with the, aggressive, communication style. Being bossy typically involves a domineering and forceful approach to communication, where one person seeks to control or manipulate others without considering their feelings or opinions. Turning to slide 16, we continue our, communication styles comparison, table. Here. We reiterate that bossy communication is often associated with the aggressive style. Aggressive communication, as represented by being bossy, can create tension and conflict in interpersonal relationships. By identifying this trait and learning alternative communication approaches, we can work towards more respectful and harmonious interactions with others. Here we explore the characteristic honest. This trait aligns with the assertive communication style. Being honest in your communication means expressing your thoughts, feelings, and intentions truthfully and transparently. It's a core element of assertive communication, as it fosters trust and open dialogue. Now, on slide 18, we continue our communication styles comparison table. Here, we emphasize that honest communication is a characteristic of the assertive style. Assertive communication encourages honesty as a foundation for clear and respectful expression. It allows individuals to communicate openly and authentically, leading to more meaningful and productive interactions. Here we address the characteristic pushy. This trait often aligns with the aggressive communication style. Being pushy typically involves pressuring or coercing others into complying with your wishes or demands without regard for their feelings or boundaries. Moving on to slide 20, we continue our communication styles comparison table. Here, we reiterate that pushy communication is often associated with the aggressive style. Aggressive communication, as represented by being pushy, can create discomfort and resistance in others. 
Here we explore the characteristic, respect rights of others. This trait strongly aligns with the assertive communication style. Respecting the rights of others means acknowledging and honoring their boundaries, feelings, and needs while also expressing your own thoughts and feelings in a clear and confident manner. As we continue our communication styles comparison table, here, we emphasize that respect rights of others is a characteristic of the assertive style. Assertive communication encourages individuals to express themselves while also respecting the rights, boundaries, and feelings of others. By incorporating this trait into your communication style, you can build stronger, more positive relationships and navigate various social situations with confidence. Here we address the characteristic, get stepped on. This trait often aligns with the passive communication style. Allowing oneself to get stepped on means frequently yielding to the demands and wishes of others, often at the expense of one's own needs and feelings. As we continue our communication styles comparison table, here we reiterate that get stepped on is a characteristic of the passive style. Passive communication, as represented by allowing oneself to get stepped on, often involves not asserting one's own needs or rights. By identifying this trait and learning how to assert oneself respectfully, we can avoid being taken advantage of and foster more balanced and respectful interactions with others. Here we introduce the characteristic, Mick. While it might not be immediately clear, Mick can be associated with a passive communication style. In this context, Mick represents someone who tends to go along with others' decisions or suggestions without offering their own input or opinions. Now, in slide 26, we continue our communication styles comparison table. Here, we clarify that Mick is a characteristic of the passive style. Passive communication often involves a reluctance to express one's thoughts or preferences, similar to how Mick may not assert himself or offer his input. Here we address the characteristic dominating. This trait strongly aligns with the aggressive communication style. Being dominating in communication involves exerting control or authority over others' thoughts, feelings, or actions, often in an assertive or confrontational manner. Now, on slide 28, we continue our communication styles comparison table. Here, we emphasize that dominating communication is a characteristic of the aggressive style. Aggressive communication, as represented by dominating behavior, can create discomfort and resistance in others. By identifying this trait and learning alternative communication approaches, we can work towards more respectful and cooperative interactions with others.